Hello everybody, welcome along, grab your popcorn, your drinks, whatever you want, because, and sell in, because this might be a long one. <laughs> I'm Mr. McKill on YouTube series, so we're supposed to live and PSN and speaking on PSN. It's my first ever proper PlayStation playthrough. And what I mean by that is that this is actually the first kind of proper game playthrough I'm doing on the PlayStation 3. Of course, um, the Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 don't particularly really count, to be honest, because that was more of a HD re-release. Um, but this is the first proper one. It's kind of a shame because I really wanted to get Heavy Rain as my first ever PlayStation playthrough game, but Metal Gear Solid Revi uh, Revengeance is out in about a month, and uh, unfortunately, I'm in the midst of a uh, that a Metal Gear Solid marathon. So instead, we're starting the playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 4: Guns of the Patriots. This is my first ever time booting up this game, and uh, as I said in the unboxing. I have watched a playthrough from Bash12349 on Metal Gear Solid 4, but that was three years ago, so I probably could barely remember what happens in this game. And I haven't switched to my camera to present lighting, god damn it, oh well, whatever. This game says that it automatically, no shit. Of course. So expect me to suck, and if uh, something comes up and I have no idea why, it's Hideo Kojima, since when can I ever make sense of anything he does He does in terms of storyline. But whatever. I mean, so this is to many people, uh, many people saying that this is probably their um, all-time favorite Metal Gear Solid game as such. I think, I fear for Metal Gear Solid Rising pretty much because that is going to be a brand new kind of, I don't think it's a reboot, but it's kind of different to the way these previous games have gone and of course you're going to get the old school fanboys crying out that it's so different and already there was a trailer for this, I think it was yesterday, um, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Rising and everyone's commenting on how bad Raiden's voice sounds and shit and it's just like... It's pretty much what Devil May Cry went through when Dante was first like when they redid Dante, and I'm sure Tomb Raider is going to go with the same thing as well. It's with these reboots, people just hate changing. I mean, if Call of Duty ever changed in the slightest way of what it was always known to be, there would be a fucking uproar in the gaming in the gaming community, and it would, it would just be nuts. So, but whatever. That's as far as the way as a subject you can possibly get. This is Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. I officially have no idea what I'm looking at right now. I'm just trying to set the options. So I'm change saying just toggle mode. Adjust your preferred item change L2 button style. What's the other mode here? Recall mode. And cycle mode. I guess we'll leave that in toggle mode, to be honest. It could be Metal Gear Solid 3 we're looking at there. So lock on all in settings. Now we'll turn that off. I aim much most of the time anyway. Normal, 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 normal. You change default direction camera. I'll oh, leave it. Language change. English. Cutscene subtitles we want on, please. In-game subtitles we want on. In-game music. On. External output. Oh my shit, there's a lot of options here. Display, optional explanations, select button for what? What is this? I guess we'll leave it. Brightness adjustment. Um, I don't know what to put it as. Just the brightness monitor so each branch in the chart above is distinctly visible. This does not produce a tiny result. You may also want to use the left, right, buttons or left stick to adjust the in-game brightness. I have no idea what any of that means. I guess I guess we could leave it. Yeah that looks okay. It's not too bad. I think we'll leave it. So photo album, virtual range, extras in store which we did an hour of already, so let's go new game. Liquid easy, lake, naked normal, solid normal and big boss hard. 
For players who are skilled at action games, no more settings for Europe and North America. For players who don't like it too easy. No more setting for Europe and North America. We'll go with that then. We'll go with solid normal. Even though I have no idea what any of that meant. So let's uh let's kick off here. Oh shit. What the hell? What the fuck is this? What? What the fuck is this? What the hell? I'm feeling fucked over right now. This is this is stupid. What the fuck is this? Well, this isn't fucking Metal Gear, I know that much. Oh god, really? Oh god, really? This is... I'm having a... Tr are we tripping right now? Are we fucking... This is nothing to do with Metal Gear. What the fuck is this? Really? Unfortunately, this has nothing to do with the game we're playing. Why are we fucking watching this shit? What the hell? Nanos? What the hell? Do you like what you see outside your window? Now what? Will you ever respect the face in your mirror? Will your children thank you for the sacrifices you're about to make? What? Our mission is to hear you say yes. What? In the world through quest of technology, protecting civilians. These are obviously advertisements, but solutions. What the hell? Werewolf. Evolution. Reinvented. What the hell is this? What the hell is that about? Okay. I'm officially confused. First start, apparently. In the not too distant future, on a tread battlefield, war has become routine. You mean that was what was that about then? Is this the game? I should have skipped that entire part, shouldn't I? Great, I didn't know that. Like I said, playing this cold, I don't know. I get, I guess. I'm, I'm guessing those were connected to the game, although I have no fucking idea at that point now. Well, I'm officially confused. We've got a couple of guys I recognize, like David Hayer and Randolph Zodokan, so... Quentin Flynn, so Raiden must be in the... Ryan must be in the... Raiden. Ryan must be in the game. I think Laura called Cody was Rose, I think so. Well, I don't know what those two advertisements were about, but they were sure a fucking uh, uh that was a total mind fuck, pretty much. Phil Lamar, was he Van? I'm sure he was Van from Metal Gear 2. War has changed. No shit. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. Oh boy. War 
and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. That snake, you can tell, instantly having a cigarette. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. So it's basically like what the PlayStation 4 and all this technology is planning to do. You know, lock the discs to the console. Control. Information Supposedly, control. anyway. Emotion control. Battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. Okay. War has changed. Yeah, you said that already. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. Okay then. War has changed. You can stop saying that now. When the battlefield is under total control. God damn it, you keep repeating War yourself. Becomes routine. Oh shit. It's all going down here. It's all kicking off. What the hell is going on here? Shot his gun. I think it jammed on him. He was like, fuck this. I don't need that shit. Some war zone here, look. These guys are getting torn up. And snipers taking him out like a boss. Ooh. The cutscene to gameplay, I assume. Yeah. Huh, pretty cool. Oh, hang on. No shit. How? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> 